What's going on guys? I'm back with another video. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys what I'm going to be sending in to PSA for my submission for a bulk submission. I have 20 cards here. You need at least 20 cards to send in for the non-trading card. So it's, I guess, sports and, and Marvel and stuff like that. So yeah, I'm going to show you guys what I'm sending in and what I'm going to be doing with most of these cards. So yeah, I kind of have only maybe one or two cards in here that I'm grading for to keep in the PC the rest. I'm just going to be honest with you. I'm going to grade them just to sell them so I could sell them for cards that I actually want in my collection. So yeah, first we got Dr. Doom, pack this myself. The creator art variant auto, the red rainbow from Marvel Platinum. I mean, this is a big card, so hopefully it comes back at 10. It's in pretty good shape. I mean, I pulled it myself, pack fresh, immediately sleeved it up. It's a little OC on the back, but yeah, great in that for the PC, just 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 because why not? And then we have a couple more platinum cards. We have the Venom Red Rainbow. Just, I mean, it's a Venom card. Venom's probably one of the better selling cards from the set, so might as well see if I can send it in. And I packed all these myself, except for this one. But yeah, we got Ronin the Accuser, the Purple Rainbow. Yeah, just sending them in. I mean, Platinum, Marvel Platinum is doing really well right now. So might as well figure, why not send them in, see if I can get a 10, sell it for maybe, maybe 5, 6X, and then buy a PC card. You know what I mean? Just to see if I can get pc cards without shelling out more money see if i can make money on these i think it's honestly the whole point of grading i'm not gonna lie to you saying i'm gr grading these just for the pc no i'm grading these to sell them to buy cards for my pc that's just what i'm gonna do so we got a fire star here this is the red prism number 199 bought this off of ebay looks pretty good so might as well kind of got two piles here pc non-pc now this one i did pack myself it is a suspended animation of Kang. These are numbered out of 299 or 199, sorry. I think this is one of the rarer inserts from Marvel Annual. So, I mean, I figured why not? I might PC this. I'm not sure. If it comes back a 10, I might PC it. But yeah, these actually do pretty well on eBay when I looked. Some of the, the, the lower the number and the rarer it is, or the higher tier it is, which makes it less, less of a print run. So. Yeah, I'm not really sure what I'll do with that, but that's it for Marvel Platinum, I believe. The rest is sports. So, yeah, we got a Kopitar Royal Blue Cubes. He's numbered a 99. Got this from Com C, I believe, a while back. So, figured why not? It's a Hall of Famer. <laughs> why not? I mean, it's a platinum, numbered, low numbered, under 100. So, again, why not? We got the Travis Sanheim Red Prism Rookie. These are numbered 199. This is rookie, marquee rookie from 1718. I mean, Travis Sanheim, probably the Flyers' best defenseman, and I'm from Philly, so would be easy to sell if I brought it to a card show. So figured why not? Looks good. Now we have another flyer here. We got Igor Zamula on the seismic. This is a seismic gold from what year is this? 2021. These are numbered out of 50. So I think he has another he played pretty well last year so hopefully he has another good year he has yet to sign his uh they sent him an offer because he's an rfa so he has yet to sign that if he's going to but i expect he will but yeah big defenseman hopefully hopefully he does something this year we'll see but yeah selling but grading just to sell and then here we've an alex ovechkin red prism from platinum this is 17 18 i believe or 18 19 sorry but yeah it's, it's ovechkin hall of famer probably he should i mean if he plays for the next two years he probably will break the goal record so i mean it is ovechkin so it's a numbered numbered platinum from a hall of famer the one of the one of if not the best greatest goal scorer of all time so can't go wrong with grading that but yeah we got that there and then we have another platinum card that i packed myself got the connor hellebuck this is the retro red rainbow auto not numbered but i mean it's a vesna goalie platinum it looks pretty good so i mean why not see if i can make some kind of money off of it and hopefully sell it for profit and to buy a pc card and then we have a Sidney Crosby Silver. This is from 2021, 21-22. This was a terrible year for centering. And surprisingly, this one looks pretty good. So, I mean, it's just this, it's just a regular rainbow. But if it comes back at 10, easily probably a $30, $40 card. And I paid 
two or three bucks for it. So why not take a chance and hopefully it comes back a 10. We have an Askarov Young Guns. I packed this myself, I believe, back in when the set came out. 23-24 Series 1. So we got Ashcroft Young Guns, just, yeah, just a basic Young Guns. Then we got two Bedards here that I packed myself. Now, I, I for sure, these both look really, really good for grading. I packed them myself, immediately put them in protection. So I for sure I'm going to sell this one. The blue one, I'm not sure. This one's an SP, but still it's, it's, it's just base OPG, not numbered. It's just a regular, not, it's not even super short print. It's just a short print rookie, so... I mean, his Young Guns is out. His Platinum is going to be coming out soon. So hopefully they come back at 10 and I just sell them for, for easy profit. And then for the only baseball cards I have, I actually, I'll throw it up in the right-hand corner. Go check that out. But I found these in a basement in a kind of an abandoned house that I was working at. And they were going to get tossed. So I decided to look through the cards and I ended up finding these. So I think... They, they these look pretty good for centering for 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 corners i mean the edges on the back you can kind of see are kind of a little rough but if i could just get one of these to come back at 10 the multi hundred dollar card i believe so we got three wade bogs from fleer and then we have three tony gwins two of them from fleer and one of them from don russ again tony Gwynn's a hall of famer i'm not big on baseball so i can't really tell you what kind of a player he was or how good he was but i know he's a hall of famer and he recently passed away so hopefully i literally just need one of these to come back at 10 or if two of these come back at 10 it pays for the grading and the price of all these cards essentially that i that i paid for them i mean essentially i think the last time i looked i think a, a 10 in any of these is two to three hundred dollars i might be wrong i throw it up on the screen but yeah that's Okay, so I lied. So only one card I'm grading for the PC. The rest I'm going to end up selling probably. Maybe not that one. But yeah, that's what I'm sending in the PSA. Hopefully I get these back in a couple months and make a video. And then eventually, yeah, sell them. Buy some more PC cards and keep keep the the collection. What was I going to say? Keep, keep building the collection. That's what I was going to say. So thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned to the next video. Bye. Um...